Now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. All in all, today actually turned out to be a really nice day. Temperatures weren't terribly cold this morning thanks to some cloud cover overnight last night. We started off in the low 30s. And then this afternoon, thanks to a lot of sunshine, we made it into the upper 40s. In fact, there were places to our south and southeast that topped out in the low 50s. And of course, you know, if you've been around the last several days, you know how much better this weather is versus what we started the week off with. We had the temperature plunge on Monday, and then we were just stuck in the deep freeze on Tuesday with a high of only 26 degrees. Upper 40s the last couple of days, still below normal for this time of the year by about 10 degrees, but temperatures are going to continue to slowly climb as we work through the weekend and beyond into next week. Very quiet across the region. That is the way it will stay for the next couple of days. We've actually gotten ourselves into a, a nice quiet stretch of weather and we could use it you know the last several weeks have featured big rainstorms and of course early this week we had that bout of of sleet and snow well it looks like for the next seven days rain's going to be kind of hard to come by although there are going to be a few little opportunities here late in the weekend into early next week for tonight uh, again clear skies Temperatures are going to continue to tumble through the 20s, and it looks like we're going to see lows in the upper teens to low 20s in a lot of spots. There's also going to be that pa possibility of patchy fog. Again, with temperatures being allowed to bottom out, uh, it looks like that's going to be a, a pretty good setup, especially with the very light winds that we're going to find across the area. As this area of high pressure builds into the area, that's going to be a good setup for some of that patchy fog down in the valleys and down near the rivers and creeks and also down near the lakes. So keep that in mind if you travel some routes that uh, are going to be moving through those types of locations. It'll be an early morning type thing. Sunshine will be abundant tomorrow. Uh, we'll find it from start to finish. And winds are going to be very light. And it's going to be one of those kinds of days. Yes, low 50s for highs is kind of cool, but with the light winds and the the sunshine, it's actually going to feel pretty nice outside during the afternoon hours. Overnight tonight, though, it's going to be cold. Temperatures slipping into the upper teens to low 20s. Looks like about 21 here in Springfield tomorrow. Temperatures will warm very quickly above the freezing mark during the morning. And we're going to top out around 52, I think, here in Springfield. We'll find that in Branson and Harrison and also in Mountain Home. A little cooler to our northeast, but not bad. Near 54 high in Rolla and Salem. The pattern going into the upcoming weekend looking good for Saturday. Lots of sunshine, looks dry. Temperatures are going to warm well into the 50s. We've got a cold front on the map to our west, and that will be the first of a pair of fronts that will impact the area Sunday into Monday. The one on Sunday will bring clouds to the area, so it looks like a mostly cloudy day, and that's going to limit how warm things can get. It looks like maybe low 50s for highs on Sunday. We're also going to have a shot at maybe a few light showers during probably the mid-morning to early afternoon time frame. That cold front's going to go through. There's going to be another one coming in uh, right behind it on Monday. It, too, will bring mostly cloudy skies to the area and maybe a slight chance for a light shower. After that, we've got a midweek mild stretch that we're going to be able to enjoy. We're going to find a trough trying to develop in the western U.S. This is something we haven't seen much of here uh, lately, uh, and that's kind of played into our cold pattern that we've seen. But with this pattern that we're going to find developing, more of a southwest flow across the region, that means warmer weather. That means we're going to go from highs in the 50s over the weekend into Monday to highs, I think, up near 60 on Tuesday. That comes with sunshine. And mostly sunny and highs in the 60s on Wednesday, low to mid 60s. And if a front on Thursday is slow enough, we could get mild at least across parts of the area on Thursday. But we will see some showers with that front, I think. They like the warmer temperatures. How about our viewers' club number? Number tonight is 247 328, jackpot $500. All right, Jamie, thank you. Coming up next, we continue our courageous conversation.